Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna head out to Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate drugstore starter kit for beginners. If you guys watch my videos consistently, you know how much I love drugstore makeup. And for me personally, Walmart is my favorite place to get drugstore makeup at. I just love the variety, love the brands, and honestly, it is the cheapest. At least in my area, that is typically where I get most of my like affordable stuff. I love Walmart. I've literally shopped there since I was younger. My mom always put me on to the good deals and it's definitely rubbed off on me throughout the years because I literally go Go there like every single week. I normally do this kind of video like makeup tutorial style but I wanted to switch it up because I love like shop with me videos and like bring you guys along it's just so much more fun that way but I can definitely do like a beginner's makeup tutorial in the next coming weeks but for now we're gonna go to Walmart and we're gonna do a little kind of shop with me and I'm basically just gonna show you guys like my favorites because I have a lot of these products. I hope you guys enjoy today's video make sure you grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Also if you love drugstore content definitely stick around I have an entire drugstore playlist where I basically do everything drugstore. I throw in some high-end makeup in the mix on this channel, but drugstore makeup has my heart. So let's head out to Walmart because I'm about to put you on to the ultimate drugstore starter kit. Okay, so I'm going to start in the order in which I would do my makeup in just to keep everything a little bit more organized. So starting with brows first, this is my favorite brow pencil. It's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's $10 and it's so good for filling in your brows or if you want to outline like I do it's amazing and it comes in eight different shades this is all that I use and I have to say NYX kills it in the brow category because I also really love their tame and frame tinted brow pomade this is one of my favorites I'm actually gonna just get a backup of this because I have another pomade that I love but it's getting a little bit dried out and this one's really good and this one is under $10 so you can see 747 it comes in a couple different colors I'm in the shade black and I love the formula of this it lasts for Forever. and if you like pomades you will love this and if you fill in your brows I always recommend setting them with a tinted brow mascara just to really keep them in place all day and to avoid smudging or like melting especially in the summertime and this is another favorite the NYX tinted brow mascara the reason I love NYX also so much with brow products is because they have a bunch of different colors so I'm in the shade black it's a great formula to be honest I mostly only use drugstore brow products because these are so good and this is also under $10 so we love that another really good pomade that I love is from elf this one is is the eyeliner and brow cream this one's four dollars it comes in a couple less shades but it's still a really great formula and i'm in the color espresso in this and i love it Okay, now for the eyes. They don't have the eye primer that I like here, but I'll pop in a picture of it. It's like under $5. It's really, really good. They normally have it here, but I guess it just must be sold out today. So I just wanted to mention that because I always use an eye primer before I do shadow. For eyeshadows, I always recommend Profusion if you guys are at Walmart. These palettes are like next level, great quality. Most of them are about $13, but you get a ton of different shadows, pressed glitters, shimmers, like a huge variety in each of the palettes. So this is a really pretty one, the Starlet palette this one is one of my all-time favorite warm tone palettes the mirage these pressed glitters you guys are next level so profusion is like incredible with shadows and then if you want a more colorful vibe the festival palette is super cute they also have a couple other palettes that are ten dollars the chocolates is really good this one has a lot of browns which i love the gold rush is so pretty for summer especially with the golds and pops of yellow and again these are just ten dollars and if you want some lighter warm tones and some like pinky shades the nude bliss is a really pretty option as well and if you don't want to spend ten dollars on eyeshadows profusion also has you covered because they literally have five dollar palettes that are so good and again with the variety this one is beautiful for spring and summer look at these yellows like i love this and then they have some other ones up here mauves rubies and spectrum which is a colorful palette so they have lots of variety you guys lots of good stuff as far as eyeliners i have lots of favorites at the drugstore i actually forgot how good these are the covergirl exhibitionist coal eyeliners are really nice and creamy i feel like if you're a beginner you can't go wrong with a good brown liner i feel like it's a little bit less harsh than black and it really makes your eyes pop so this one's really nice it's in the shade rich brown but they also do have a black if you're into just traditional black liner and you can see they have some other colors as well but black and brown are definitely staples for sure okay for liquid liner the nyx epic ink liner is my personal favorite it's nine dollars they don't have the black one here in stock today but it's basically just like this just in black this is the brown version but yeah this is really good lasts all day doesn't 
doesn't smudge. It's super black and really easy to work with. For mascara, this is personally my current favorite. I love it, especially for my lower lashes. It really does a good job at separating, lengthening. It doesn't smudge and it's $6. So again, this is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volume Mascara. I love it. If you need lashes, Walmart is literally my favorite place to get them because they have so much variety. So I have so many favorite brands that I love. Kiss, Ilore. I also really love Ardell Lashes. They're like a classic and Salon Perfect. But I think if you're just getting started with lashes, I have to say the Kiss Number 11s are the ones that I always recommend, especially if you wear glasses or if you want something more natural and really easy to apply. These are great. They're $9 for a five pack. You cannot beat that, especially because you can reuse these as well. So those are a great option. And I actually just came across these. So it's basically a five pack of all of their best selling lashes. So it's great because you get some variety in here for the same price, $9. These are all like actually really good. Ritzy lashes, pompadour, number 11s, 09, and then the 01s on the bottom. The 01s I actually love for bigger eyes because they literally look like lash extensions and they're so pretty. But all of these are beautiful. I've tried every single one of them and they are really natural, but they add a little extra something to your look. So I like this. I love the variety and I feel like this would be a really great addition to any makeup collection. And then for lash glue, this is literally the only one that I use. I have been using this for like six years. I have repurchased so many, but it's my favorite. Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It's latex free and it's really easy to apply because it has like a brush applicator and you can see it's just $3. So I love this. I'm actually going to get a bag up because I use it all the time. As far as beauty sponges, e.l.f. is my personal favorite. And you get two sponges and these get super squishy and soft whenever you do get them damp under the sink. And honestly, it's better than the beauty blender. I really like the shape of them too. If you have super dry skin, I definitely recommend these e.l.f. facial oil mist. These are great before an actual primer. So they kind of act as like a primer water. They have a bunch of different ones. I love the soothing one the best. These are $5 and they're kind of like a primer oil, but in a spray form. I like these more than going in with an actual primer oil because they're a little bit more lightweight but they do a really good job at hydrating the skin so these are a great option again if you have dry skin I have combo skin but I'm obsessed with these before makeup and if you just want a regular primer water and you don't want like a facial oil mist like the ones from elf the NYX bear with me sprays are great these are actually a really good smashbox primer water dupe and these are $10 it's a nice size bottle too so you could use this before makeup to prep your skin or after to really absorb all of your powders and set your makeup as far as like making your makeup last the Milani Make It Last is my personal favorite, but this is a really good primer spray and kind of spray to use to really help your powders to really melt into the skin. For primer, this is like one of the best drugstore primers from Hard Candy. It's the Hydrating 12 Hour Makeup Grip. $7, makes your makeup last all day, especially through wearing a mask. I love it and it's really hydrating. So I love this with any of my foundations. It works so well. Also, I feel like this is a good universal primer that you could use if you have dry skin, oily skin. It's really, really good. And then if you want a comfortable, matte long wearing foundation the covergirl 12 hour comfort matte is one of my all-time favorites i have used this for a few years now and it's really nice on the skin it's not excessively drying but it definitely is like a soft matte finish but it's really pretty i'm in the shade m10 and sometimes i will mix in a little bit of m40 if i'm a little bit tan but the shade range is also like so on point and like for drugstore this is like incredible and it's under ten dollars and if you're like me and you love a really pretty everyday glowy foundation the nyx born to glow is what i always recommend recommend. I mean, the formula of this is also so nice. It's a really good Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation dupe. I swear by this. It's very long wearing. It's not too glowy, but it is the perfect amount. I'm in the shade medium olive and this one is $10. So my personal favorite concealer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. This is my ride or die. I love it. It's $6. The original is really good and a good tart shape tape dupe, but it is a little bit more on the matte side and drier. So I prefer the hydrating one because it gives me great coverage, just a little bit creamier. Also, I know everybody talks about the e.l.f. camo concealers. I mean, they're really good. I love the coverage, but I feel like nobody talks about the full coverage concealer from NYX, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is also really nice, really great coverage, and it's super, super creamy. It has more of a natural finish. So I wanted to mention this in case you've tried the e.l.f. one and you don't like it. This is a great option as well. I know cream blushes are like so popular right now, you guys, but these NYX ones are it. The skin blush tints, they're so natural. The colors are also like the prettiest. So these are really nice to incorporate in like your everyday makeup because they make your powder blush last a little bit longer. So I love the color Nude Tude, which is like obviously like a pretty neutral shade. And then also Coralacious is beautiful, but they have some other colors here as you can see that are really, really pretty. 
and they're seven dollars. To set my makeup, I love the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I'm actually in the shade Light, which they don't have, but they have a couple other colors. They have also a bunch of shades online as well, but this is like the best setting powder. It's not glittery or like too glowy on the skin. It just gives your skin the prettiest healthy glow and it sets your makeup beautifully. So I love this for under the eyes and you can also use it for all over your face as well, but I just love the look that it gives under the eyes. It's like super healthy looking. Also, as far as setting powder, if you need some darker shades in stores and you don't want to purchase them online, the CoverGirl True Blends Loose Mineral Powder is beautiful and again, under $10. Really like the translucent color and I also love the banana shade But again, they have some darker colors here as well because the elf one is amazing But they usually don't carry all of their shades in stores So covergirl is another great option as well and for an all-over powder to set your makeup I love the elf perfect finish HD powder It doesn't have any color so anybody could use it for any foundation And it's nice because you could just use it all over just to touch up your makeup or to set it to make it look super smooth and last all day So I love this one and this one is $6. Also, side note, this is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics powder. I forget exactly what it's called, but they have one that's like this, but the e.l.f. one is such a great dupe. It makes your makeup look super smooth and soft. I especially like to put this on wherever I have larger pores, and it's really nice. So, as for bronzer, Milani makes my favorite bronzer, the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. This is a really good dupe for the Fenty bronzer. The formula is almost identical. This is actually matte, so you could use it to contour your nose or contour your face. It's great. I love it for bronzing because it's just such a great formula. So Milani Silky Matte Bronzer is my all-time favorite bronzer, but whenever I want to do a little extra contouring, these Sculpt and Shade Contour Palettes from e.l.f. are really nice. These are also matte and the formula is really easy to work with. And then the Cream Contour Palette is great for cream bronzing and just adding some more color back to your skin. Creams will make your powders last a lot longer and these are all $7 as well. As for single blushes, you cannot go wrong with Milani Baked Blushes. They are $7. They give you like the prettiest glow to your cheeks. So if you ever want to skip out on highlighter, these are a really great option. They're just super natural and they give you the perfect wash of color. Luminoso is a classic favorite, but I also love this one, Rose Doro. This is a pretty like bronzy color. And if you want a more matte blush, I love the Burt's Bees blushes. They are honestly comparable to high end. They're super long wearing and these are about $10. Toasted Cinnamon is one of my favorite shades as well as Bare Peach. Bare Peach is a little bit lighter. Toasted Cinnamon is a little bit darker. These actually show up darker on the cheeks versus like actually in the pan. And then if if you're like me and you love blush palettes and you want to have some variety, I love the Profusion blush palettes. They're literally $5 and this is one of my favorites, the Blush 3 palette. Obviously you don't need all of these, but I just wanted to give you guys some options because I know some people like single blushes, some people like palettes, some people like mattes. This is nice because you have a nice variety and you also get two highlighters right here that you could use as blush toppers. So the Blush 3 is a really good option and then the Blush 1 is pretty too and it has more of like pinky rosy tones. Okay, another dupe alert. These highlighters from Milani, the baked highlighters, they're $10 and they're Ofra Cosmetics dupes. Like not even kidding, the formula is like so, so similar. They're baked, so they're pretty intense, but they give you like such a pretty glow. They're not glittery and Champagne Doro is the perfect color for summer. It's like a true champagne bronze. And look at this color. If you are darker than me or like medium skin tone, this is perfect and this is the shade. And then this is the lightest shade that they have. I love it for the inner corners and also for my cheeks. It's so pretty. So if you're fair, you will love this. And if you don't like baked highlighters or these are a little bit too dark for your skin, I also really like the Instant Glow Powders from Milani. These are a little bit lighter. The formula is slightly different because these are baked. These are more of just like a traditional powder, but these are also really nice as well. And I also love this little palette from Milani. So as far as Milani goes, they have a lot of variety, but you know, I wanted to give you guys some options, but the Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette, it's $11. And it's beautiful because you could use the white shade for your inner corners. You could use these other two to highlight as blush toppers, or you can also use them as eyeshadows as well. So they're very versatile. So yeah, I wanted to mention all of these because, you know, again, depending on what you like, these are all a great option. And then for setting spray, you guys, I always rave about these. These are all that you need in life. Like, not even kidding. Milani Make It Last, it's my favorite setting spray. They're under $10. The Make It Last Original is great if you have normal or combo skin. If you have oily skin, get this. It actually mattifies your skin. It's like intense, but it's really good. And then if you have dry skin, make it dewy. This is beautiful, but less is more. Don't spray a lot because then it's going to look oily. So these are my favorite sprays. I've repurchased them and used them for years. They're my favorite.
If you need a good lip balm before makeup, the e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm is literally my ride or die. Five dollars. They come in a bunch of other colors too that you could use with like lip liner, but this one is my jam, especially like before makeup or before bed. It's just clear, but it's really minty and it makes your lips super soft. Okay, lip products. So these are my favorite retractable lip liners, the understatement lip pencils from Milani. I love these two nude shades right here. Cafe Olay is a beautiful, lighter, peachy nude. Saucy Toffee is a little bit darker but still really really wearable these are so creamy and they don't break they have some other darker colors as well some brighter shades for like spring and summer and this is like one of my favorite retractable liner formulas and then for lipsticks i love the milani color statement lipsticks they have so many beautiful colors they're just five dollars i personally really love the color matte beauty it's like the prettiest everyday shade i also love matte naked the packaging is also so pretty on these teddy bear is another really pretty color and and their bold shades are perfect, again, for spring and summer. So I love this formula. It's very creamy, super comfortable, and long wearing. And then if you like a matte liquid lipstick that's super comfortable, this is another favorite. Again, from Milani. They have really great lip products. I love this brand. And these are a satin matte. So again, more comfortable than like a traditional liquid lipstick. And this one is one of my favorite colors in lavish. They have some other colors here as well that are so pretty. I've tried many of them and I love it. But of course, the nude one is my favorite. And for those of you who just like traditional, matte lip liners these from nyx are my favorite and the colors are so good they have like tons of browns and pinks and just a bunch of different shades the shade london is one of my favorites i also love the color sandstorm they also have traditional lip liners that aren't matte just like regular finish super creamy again the same price just different colors nutmeg is a really great shade they also have the color coffee that i love so just depending on the finish that you like the colors the type of lip pencils i think nyx and milani is definitely the best option and i don't know if you guys are still wearing gloss because of the masks honestly i don't wear gloss as much as i used to especially like whenever i have makeup on with a mask but whenever i do you cannot go wrong with the butter glosses from nyx they're not sticky they smell great so personally for me i love the shade fortune cookie it's a really great center shade i also love madeline because it's like a your lips but better color and the formula is consistent with all of these even the bolder shades so this is like a classic favorite you just can't go wrong with nyx butter glosses so that is the ultimate drugstore starter kit for beginners walmart edition i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other must have products that you love that are affordable leave them down below in the comments thank you so much for hanging out with me and for being here don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye